Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Mo Fit. And today I'm gonna take you guys through a lower body workout, glute and hamstring focus. I'm gonna take you guys through a warm up first, just a quick warm up to open up the hips before we get started. Stretch those muscles out right quick, and then we're gonna hit it, okay? All right, let's get into it. Yeah, you wanna put that dish in your mouth. All right, let's get into this warm up, guys. I like to hit 90-90s to start off. They're great hip openers. Um, starting out, you might feel a little tight, but as you go through, make sure you engage your core and breathe through. You'll feel yourself loosen up a bit. I really love these. These are great. I hit them for about five to 10 each side. Squats are another great hip opener. Just sink down as really low as you can. Use your elbows to push back on your quads, close to your knee area. Remember to breathe through. The wide stance bootstrappers are another good go-to for me. Regular bootstrappers, I like those as well. Be close together, grab your toes, push down and push up. This video is sped up, but it's better to do these movements a little slower and controlled. Deep lunges are another fave of mine. These really stretch out my hamstring, my groin, and open my hips up very well. Breathe through these, engage your core, slow and controlled, and make sure that foot is planted through the movement. Back foot comes up, sink down and stretch through. Standing hip circles are very effective at opening the hips. I don't just use these for my leg day warm-ups, I use these also when I'm preparing for a run as well. You want to make sure your feet are about shoulder width apart. Drive that knee up about 90 degrees and rotate it around, forward and back. I go forward about five times and then I go back five times. And I do that on both legs. Superset one, I start with wide stance deadlifts. This is a hinging motion, guys. So you wanna make sure your feet are wider than hip width. Plant it into the ground, and you're gonna hinge at the hips. Pushing the weight back, bending at the knee slightly, making sure that you feel the movement in your glute area. Sometimes you might have to bend at the knee a little bit more to do so. Reverse lunges is the second exercise in the superset. Keep the front foot planted. Step back with the opposite leg. Dropping that knee. Superset two is the Bulgarian split squats into a single leg dumbbell hip thrust. Okay, me and split squats don't get along, but these are very effective guys, especially when done right. For the glutes, I tend to have a closer stance. I drop down a little bit lower into my um, split squat than I would for if I'm hitting quads. Quads, I tend to step out a little bit wider. You don't just feel the work, you can see the work. For your hip thrust, always make sure you have a good setup. Make sure your legs form at 90 degrees before you begin. The one foot on the ground needs to be planted. Drive through with your hips as you go up. Squeezing at the top.
super set three, the sumo post squats are my favorite. Guys, I really feel this exercise. You wanna have a wider than hip stance, a little extra wider. Drop back down into the squat. Pulsing to really fill those glutes. Guys, this, this is a glute burner. I don't care what anybody says, especially with the right weight. Okay, before you think like, what the heck, these pop squats tear my glutes up. The goal for it though, you have to be low. So if you can't get this low, I wouldn't recommend doing it. If you have problems with your knees, you don't have to do these. You can always find a modification to it. But when I say my glutes are on fire, especially once I hit about 10, my glutes are on fire. And you would think it would be like your quads. No, it's my glutes. And I, the goal is to, again, sink low and having that little wide stance. 